Now let's take a look at rigid groups. This is the equivalent of grounding in Inventor if you're familiar with that. But basically we create rigid groups in Fusion when we need to constrain multiple bodies to each other that have no capacity of movement relative to themselves. So instead of creating multiple joints, aka constraints, it's easy to use the rigid group command and constrain multiple objects at one time. The rigid group function locks the relative position of the selected components, and the components are then treated as a single object when moved or when joints or constraints are applied. So now let's look at how to apply rigid groups in this engine assembly. I have this rear exhaust location with several components that I won't need to show motion on, and the fit was already determined. And as we talked about before, the rigid group function locks down the relative position on the selected components, and the components are then treated as a single object. So the first thing I'm going to do is move the rear exhaust manifold down to the location with the components that I want to create a rigid group with. You don't have to, this just makes it easier to select the components. And when I select them, I hold down the shift key and select each component. If the components are all in one group, you can just select one component, hold down the shift key, and then select the last component, and it will choose all the components in between. Once you have the components selected, right click and choose rigid group. It'll tell you how many components you have selected. In this case, we have four. And it'll give us the option to include child components by this checkbox if you're so desired. Since this is a constraint, it will show up under the joint menu. And if I select on rigid group, it tells me everything that I have selected in there. And as I'm looking at it, I realize that there's a component that I missed. So in order to edit a rigid group, we right click on the group and say edit rigid group. I can then manually select the component and choose OK. Now the rigid group includes everything that I need.